G'day guys, we're back again today. We're doing like, I don't know, this is probably my hundredth video of all these functions on here. So, hopefully I haven't lost my voice yet, but um, what I wanna go through this time is one of XAG's um, functions that they've brought in, specifically pretty much for Australia. Hang on, let me just turn this on. So pretty much in Australia, we do a lot of um, uh, work over the top of trees. So for your mining rehab, for some of the gas work, for um, your vegetation control, so say for um, uh, regrowth uh, control and stuff like that, spreading pellets over trees, uh, spreading baits, all that sort of stuff. So a big thing in Australia, we have tall trees, okay? So um, some of these trees are 30 meters high and a lot of spray drones are locked to 30 meters. And a lot of people don't realize this until they get it. So XAG, have, you know, they've listened to us. Um, they've done well. Uh, they've unlocked all the P100s and the P100 Pros now to 100 meters. So miles higher than what we need. So it's awesome. We've got a lot of room to play with. Um, so it's, it's really good in that fact. So what I'm gonna go through now is pretty much showing you how to use it. Um, there's a few tricks to be able to get it to work. Um, Simple tricks, uh, safety things that they brought out. Um, so I've marked out here, we'll, we'll go on the phone here now so I can show you how it works. Pretty much, I've marked out a little field here. This is some, uh, one from our previous videos. So I'm just gonna use this as an example. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna click on this, uh, go into operation. Uh, we're in it already, as you can see, we're gonna do a little spray here. So one of the main things you've gotta do when you wanna fly 100 meters, you've gotta turn terrain following off. So a lot of stuff you can i haven't actually tried it it probably works you can have terrain following on but it won't allow you to go to 100 meters with terrain following on um so what you want to do is turn that off that's the first thing so go into route settings go advanced settings you can see here terrain following it's all on at the moment the moment that means it's going it's on on the way to the field and in the field so you can have it on only in the field or only on the way to the field but we're going to have it all off so that's a big thing have it all off um, make sure that, yeah, it's all off, you're not, you're not doing any of that. So on the phone here now, we're gonna just select all off. Now we're gonna go, what we're gonna do is go back to operation route. So see where it says flight height here? We're gonna crank that up to 100 meters. And what it's saying, it gives you a warning because in some countries, uh, you're only allowed to go a certain amount of meters high. Uh, in Australia, we're allowed to go 120. Uh, it depends where we are, obviously, as well, all your local regulations, whether you're flying within uh, airspace, uh, what airspace you're flying in and those sort of things. So make sure you're uh, doing that correct first. We're just going to hit confirm on here. And you can see now we're at 100 metres, we're going to be flying flat out. Um, so what we normally do, like say, we've done a lot of pattern testing at different heights from 15 metres to 70 metres high. We find after it gets to a certain height, whether it be 20 um, 50 meters, we're finding that the patterns are very similar because you think about it, the pattern, the, it spreads it out to a certain area, then it just drops down. So we find when it gets to a certain height, above that height, it's, it's pretty much even the whole way. So we set it, we find the highest tree in the field, make sure we're five, 10 meters above that tree. We set it at a, um, set it at, like say if it's on a hill, like we're working on a little undulating country, that you gotta remember as well, that height that you set it at is from where it takes off. So if you're um, working at the bottom of a hill uh, and you've got trees up, or you've got a hill up here and then you've got trees above that again, you gotta make sure you have enough room. So say if you go up 40 meters, you gotta make sure you're not gonna hit those trees there as well. So that's not 40 meters above that hill height, that's 40 meters above your takeoff height. So what we normally do is just do a quick manual flight. They're awesome now, you can do the manual flights really quick. Take off find where the highest tree is on the on the hill or something like that and then that way if you're working all day in really hilly country and trees and everything like that you know you're not going to hit anything you can fly flat out with terrain following off you can find flat out with obstacle avoidance off if you want um, you can just do everything really quick really efficiently and it's awesome for that so that's a function of the 100 meter height limit awesome function a lot of guys purely getting the XAG one purely for this um, so yeah it's been really good with that so Great function, um, yeah, we'll go on to some more videos, cheers.